Hey guys, it's Skulker3, and welcome to part 4 of Let's Play the Blackwell Epiphany. Sorry if my chair keeps creaking, I can't do anything about it. Uh, in the last part, we got a little further in our investigation into... There goes my phone. Got a little bit further into our investigation into George Austin. We found he was linked to Leah Piero in some form. And we discovered that Leo Piero's daughter, well we presume it's her daughter, has died in some manner. That's our first child ghost. Let's see what we can do. Although, before we do, I just want to point out something I really like about this game is she's practicing the piano, as you can hear, which I don't know how that works, because she's a ghost. But, regardless, is if you listen through with this, is uh, the rhythm is sort of a bit up and down, sort of like some bits go slightly faster than others. But there is one bit, especially in the song, where she plays a note, and then she plays it again because her fingering was slightly wrong on one of the chords. And it's just such a nice little touch that, I mean, yeah, she's trying to learn a song, she's getting there but not quite there, so there's a bit of almost correct. I think it's coming up right now. Let's see. There you go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> enough about music. Let's talk to her. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. To be fair, we haven't looked particularly far, Joey, but... What about your dad? Is he around? No. He's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. You said you go to the abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a shame that he's the boss of the abacus. It's such an outdated counting method nowadays. Can you tell me anything else about this abacus place? It's dad's work. TVs and computers and stuff. He lets me play with them when nobody's around. That's probably a terrible idea. But I guess if it been, had been a problem by now, he'd pr probably have stopped taking her to the abacus. No. No. Not this time. Not with her. Besides, it's not like that line ever works anyway. I didn't actually mean to click that one, but it is nice to show that Joey has some common sense. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. Um, you don't really need to take her anywhere. I mean, to the next world, basically, but she's not aware yet, and... Tell me about yourself, Kendra. Dunno. That's fair. I'm looking for Leah, your mother. Any idea where she could be? She should be here. I'd know if she wasn't. Okay. Well, we should probably check the rest of the house. So, where is this abacus? Near the subway. Right. Uh, do you know which subway? Um, no, sorry. That's all right, we'll figure it out. That's we always do. not helpful. But, I mean, what can you expect? She probably doesn't really need to care which subway. Okay, Kendra, I gotta go. But I'll be around to check on you, okay? Check on me? Why? Is something wrong? No, no, I just... Well, you're not alone here. You might not know what that means yet, but you're not. Okay. I'm gonna practice now. Sure. I'm gonna say, this girl's got a pretty good voice actor, um, it's like, the slight nervous laugh at the end of Sorry, when she didn't know which subway to go to, things like One that. One of the many variations of phone. Yes, you're right. Let's see what kind of drawn. KK the Troll. Cute. Okay, I'm sure that means something. It's just a fridge, humming quietly. Uh, is there another picture? Nope, it's just looking at the same one. Cool. Well, let's see if we can find Leah through here. A painting of some miserable old dame in a crinoline. Okay. Doesn't look like 
Planks of wood left over from some sort of building project. Not a Christmas tree, though. A Christmas tree. Plastic, naturally. It'd be a bit weird to have a living one down here in the basement, but hey, to each their own, I guess. Just a bedroom, pretty sparsely furnished. Nothing useful in here. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like we need to go and... Well, we can't find Leah. So we probably need to find Kendra's dad. Which we know he's at the Abacus. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Just a feeling. We've seen some pretty nasty stuff in our day, but there's something about this house. Ah, uh, forget it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this something that gets your ghost senses a-tingling? Um, okay, well, what we know about the Abacus so far is it's where her dad works, and it's to do with sort of technology and stuff. Well, we did receive... well, we didn't receive this letter, we stole it, frankly. But the wired... Ah. It's a potential long shot, but I guess it could be a thing. Let's try oogling the wired abacus. See if that gets us anywhere. Well, that'll help. Right, let's go check out the wired abacus, I guess. No new mail. I don't think we have any clues to connect at the moment, particularly. Well, let's see what we can find. So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? This is just a bunch of junk. Junk, sure, but entertaining junk. Look at this cartoon! It's... It's space creatures playing... Is, oh, is it Tom and Jerry in space? I mean, I've heard of worse reboots. Have I? I don't know, actually. I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. Looks a little dull, it's just the same thing going over it like every few seconds. Anyway, what won't have to be Kendra's father, do you? That would really Hi save there. some time. Hi, can I help you? Um let's get on with one. I'm looking for the manager. Emil Haskins, I think his name is. Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. Well, that's annoying. Can't you tell us where he lives? I'm surprised you're open with the weather this bad. Yeah. Me too. But I only live two blocks away, and I could use the overtime. Fair. Thanks. Sure. Well, this doesn't really help us with anything. Looks like a controller for a game console. Not sure which one. I'm curious to see what Joey says about this. So, Joey witnesses the controller and he sees... Uh, some kind of neck brace? I have no idea what that thing is. Very cute. Looks like the hunk of plastic that Red carries around. Um, let's see what this door is, though. The sign says Emil Haskins, manager. Well, we know he's not in, so that's going to be locked. And even if it wasn't, he wouldn't just let us walk through. Unless we were ghosts. Although I don't know if that's technically letting us through if he doesn't know about it. A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. Well, we knew that already. We knew that he takes her on the weekends. Um, let's see what we can get Boxes here. of office junk. Don't know what's inside. Okay, let's take a peek at the computer. Not that I imagine Joey will be able to do anything. Not only because he's a ghost and incorporeal, but also because... Some kind of animation is playing. I think Red calls this a screen saver. He's not exactly Whatever it is, I'm glad I don't have a the most technologically anymore. knowledgeable. I don't know much about these moose things, but I've seen Red use them often enough. I can't touch the moose. I especially like this little touch. It's just like, he's remembered that it's a short animal name beginning with M. But, moose, I guess? Even if I could use it, who would I call I don't know why they call it a moose. Don't look nothing like one. It says, call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. It could be you. Maybe he knew you in ghost life. Looks like an internal memo. Some kind of technical stuff. It's all Greek to me. Well... Joey might wonder why he's gonna do this, but we know why. I'm gonna huh. get rid of the... Whatever I did, it worked. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the screensaver, so we can see... Well, we can't see very much. We can see Exeter House, though. And Emil playing with Kendra. So, well, we presume. Otherwise, that's a very weird picture to have as your desktop, frankly. But let's look into this Exeter House, shall we? Or let's have Rosa do it, since Joey can't exactly do that himself. 
Exeter House. Let's Google that crap. Exeter House. Technically maintained. A prime village location in New York. That seems unusual. Anyway, uh, well, let's get heading over and see if we've got anything to do that. I wonder what happens if you call Joey. Well, someone's around. Too late. We'll find out some other day. Right, let's hope. Emil seems to be on the fifth floor. That's good. So let's give Emil an old ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Here he is, Emil Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to, 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 I'd like to ask you some questions. <laughs> She'd really you like to ask you some questions. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. Come I'm on, just Rosa. trying to learn what happened. Be professional here. No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. And we went so many games they won't without talk to me either. Come on up. I think this is probably because I'm recording. Angela to Blackwell, be fair. was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So you said you're trying to learn what happened. What exactly do you know? Um. Well, we George know. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No, of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. And then something I else. I can't say I liked like the guy. Leah ghost to an apart. after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. Well, that's jumping to conclusions, not. If but... it did, I'll never forgive her. I'll kill him. Wait. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. Now, I'm a little worried because he said... Ex-wife and daughter go missing, which suggests to me he doesn't know about Kendra. And I don't know if I want to tell him. So let's ask everything Can else. Tell first. me anything about yourself. Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late nineties. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. I don't remember for certain, but I'm like 90% sure this same background interior, or at least a very similar one, was used in the Wajitai game, the Shiva. And at that time it was a flat owned by an Indian lady. And that's a nice touch. I like that when there's just a little overlap between these games. You go and play the Shiva, actually, there is an easter egg of Blackwell characters in that one, or at least in the latest version. I think the Shiva's been a game for ages from what I've seen, but that's not super important right now. What did you do Let's when Leah talking. disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days, even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work, and I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. But I just stood by and took the abuse, just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. How well did you know George Austin? Leah's the one who knew him. They'd been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. What did she say? Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced and he turns up wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. And I'm living in this shoebox. That sort of upheaval almost sounds like the sort of thing that Gavin would do, but, well, he's not around anymore. Though they did post-die in pretty similar ways. Are you ways. familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. Okay. How did you find out happens. Kendra was missing? Her school called. Okay. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. 
They thought she was with me. I wish she was. I don't think we can tell him, frankly. Mostly because it's not a dialogue option, but also it's just... Well, intense. I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah. Sure. See ya. Hey, wait. Why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? There's much more at stake. Maybe. I, I don't care about the big picture. Can you help her or not? Yes. It's what I do. Poor nice. guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. It never gets easier. Well, we've kind of reached a little bit of a standstill, but we will probably find some more stuff if we keep poking around. But we'll have to save that for the next time, guys. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.